What's going on guys? Still down here in Florida, still trying to enjoy some vacation time, but I decided I was gonna go ahead and show you how I caught that gold trade. Some of you have been asking, can you please show us how you caught that gold trade that you posted? And I'm gonna show you in this one today. It is easy, it is quick, and it is profitable. Let's get it. guys Joe here and it's time to trade and get paid down here in Florida ready to show you guys about this five minute chart gold strategy how I caught that scalp almost a thousand points in 15 minutes on gold did it with my team it is powerful I'm gonna show you what I did so before I do that hit that like button comment below subscribe hit that bell get notified every time I drop content and I really want you to comment so I can answer your questions I want to help you to understand so that you can do it on your own If you want to become a member of TGP and do this with us go to tradinggetpaid.com become a student today it will be the best business decision you ever made Let's get to the charts. So first thing, let me say this guys, as we're looking at the gold XAU USD gold chart on the five minute chart, I, I wanna make sure you understand that everything always has to come back to market structure, price action, you know, um, uh, technical analysis, fundamental analysis. There's some things at play here that you really have to understand. And the main thing that I understood for this particular trade and really for every gold trade is the time of day. I want you to remember that. The time of day matters. Every morning between 8 and 9 a.m., gold is moving. Gold is really getting its momentum. Typically, the 8.30 candle particularly is where we really see a lot of movement. So that's really the number one factor in the confidence I had to get into this trade. So not only this trade, but every trade I take on gold is typically right around um, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And that's a huge factor. So the technicals, the fundamentals, remember you can't take a five minute strategy and just say, you know, just cause I see a candle, that means enter. You still gotta do price action. You still gotta understand where you are on the charts. You still gotta understand principles and using a strategy to find entry. That's really what strategies are about is finding entry you know, stop loss, take profit, etc. So you're creating rules to find those things, right? I always teach rest, R-E-S-T, rules, entry, stop loss, take profit. That's really what it is. And these are the rules for this particular strategy. So let's take it, let's take a look. So once I realized on the higher time frame, like 30 minutes and stuff, you know, you can see we're clearly in an uptrend. Um, not only that, but you can kind of look here. You can see like on the 30 minute chart, one hour chart, like look, volume, dead volume dead volume dead what's next right volume and you can see it starting on the 30 minute chart so we have a clear clear move to the upside on the 30 minute chart and that's really what is giving me the indication that i'm ready to see the next gold push okay so it's not just a five minute strategy it's seeing the push seeing that it's, it's dead seeing the push seeing that it's dead seeing the push seeing that is dead. Now I'm seeing the push again, right? And I'm breaking to the upside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here, show you what happens on this five minute um, chart. So watch this. So first thing is we identify the trend. We identify which direction we're moving. We did that. We see that we're moving in a bullish direction. The next thing is I'm looking for an opportunity to see volume come into the market at the right time of day. And so I see that happening, it's, it's getting near eight o'clock. You can see at the bottom of the screen there, it's 7.45 a.m. here, volume comes in and we're seeing a move that's happening. Now here we are at 8.10 uh, and we're seeing oh, it get that uh, breaking point here. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop a line at where I wanna see the breakout happen. Now, those of you who've been in my class, you know 
we don't just use lines we use zones okay so we got our little zone right here we're good uh you know now we're looking for this to retest and go and we're happy and everything's good but a couple of little things i saw that i thought were very interesting and that i want you to look for when you see volume number one get your zone marked up and then wait for price to confirm that zone so what do i mean price gives you the rejection area gives you this like double touch here comes down and then this now it breaks it so this is broken and now we're looking for a retest to the upside right so here's the other thing that i saw that confirmed it number one when i saw volume happen when i saw this volume right here i see the next thing that happens after volume comes into the market look at this guys see this black candle right here let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it see that black candle right there the second volume candle i want you to notice something you'll notice that it's a mother bar and then we get an inside bar sitting on our 50 moving average so now not only do we have confirmed direction trend we see volume coming into the market at the right time of day and we see the break of the 50 moving average with an inside bar candle so we see that inside bar candle and we know there's some serious up movement coming and boom there's your volume now you say why didn't you enter at the at the inside bar for this particular trade i did not enter there because number one we were still at we weren't quite at eight o'clock yet number two um you're trading into a resistance. I wanna trade past the resistance. I don't wanna trade into an area that it might turn around at. I wanna trade once it breaks that area that we're turning around at. So that inside bar was not an entry for me, it was a confirmation of continued volume for me. And that's exactly what we saw happen. Big continued volume that gave us the breakout of our previous zone. Now, in addition to having a breakout, look what it did for us. Look at where this is, and then look at where the candle wick came back to right here on this next volume candle that gave us the breakout. If you'll look there, you'll see that we have a fair value gap right there. You see that? So let me let me just change that on my screen. Um, let me just change that so you can see it a little bit better. We have a fair value gap on the chart right here. So now, not only do we have a push, not only do we have a breakout, not only do we have confirmed direction, but we also now have a fair value gap showing us an area where we believe price is gonna come back and touch before the next push. So what happens? We wait for that, we got our zone, we wait for the pullback here, it comes and literally kisses our fair value gap and closes the candle as a pin bar candle. One of my favorites, if not my favorite entry candle. When I saw that pin bar, I told my guys, get ready, we're about to enter the market. Look what time it is when it threw that pin bar. 8.15, meaning this next candle is going to carry us in, this 15 minute candle is going to carry us in to the 8.30 candle that gives us the big volume. Now, we get that pullback, we get the pin bar, and now, do I enter immediately? No, what I'm looking for is I'm gonna go ahead at this point I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set an order here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my stop loss back here. If it comes back to my fair value gap, then we're going the wrong way anyway, right? So I set my stop here. I set my entry where? At the break of our zone again. Once we get confirmed volume pushing past our zone, we should be in the trade. And where do I set my take profit? I went back to previous structure and really it was about a thousand points, but I just went back to previous structure where we saw the previous high from that uh, on a higher time frame, right? So I go back here. Now, did I think I was gonna go ahead and get a thousand pips right off the rip? No, what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do is even if I believe it is gonna run like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here like one to two and I'm gonna start scaling out of the trade at those certain levels. So let's see what happens next. Price pushes up and instantly when it passes that breakout zone, I'm in the trade. This thing is moving and I told my guys, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just target way up here and we're gonna start moving our stop loss as necessary. So when I saw volume, I told them to go ahead and move the stop loss to break even. And then here it came. We get our big move, we get volume and look at that. Guys, that thing took off. Now, at that point, after that second candle, 
I told the guys to set a take profit in this area here. And what happened was once, once we got up there and I saw that we were extending, I don't want to take the profit when it's coming back. I want to take the profit when it's extending. Once we hit about a thousand, just under a thousand points, about 980 points, I told the guys, I'm taking profit. I'm out of the trade. I don't want to be in this anymore. We have now caught a beautiful move, almost a thousand points in 15 minutes using the five minute chart. We got out of the trade right there and you can see in the next candle, it came back and started you know, going the other way. So that right there was very easy to do. Why? Because we had multiple confirmations. So how do you do this? Number one, find your trend, find your direction. Number two, make sure you're trading at the right time of day. Number three, set your breakout level. We wanna catch the momentum as it's pushing past the previous high. Number four, see if you have volume in the market when this right time of day is happening. See if you can confirm volume with inside bars, fair value gaps, things like that, and make sure that you have directional volume. Step number five, wait for the retest of that breakout area. Make sure you have a confirmed retest. Step number six, take the entry as it breaks past that area again. Use proper risk management and take your profits all the way to the bank. That's how we scout gold on the five minute chart. This is how we make that money. All right, guys, I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. I hope you understand a five minute strategy on gold trading that is absolutely powerful. We are simply taking the momentum of a trend at the right time of day and letting it carry us to big profits. Five minute chart. 15 minutes, many times we're in these trades for 15, 20 minutes, sometimes five and even 10 minutes. Very quick, very in and out. We take our trade, we get our bag, and we shut down for the day. We're taking that one trade for the open of that US session on gold, usually around 8.30 a.m. That's how we do it. If you have any questions, comment below and let me let me help like answer those questions for you so you understand exactly how to do this and hit that like button. If you thought this was insightful, if you thought this uh, really taught you something, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more content coming out. And if you wanna do this with us in a more hands-on way, a more personal mentorship type way, just go to tradinggetpaid.com, become a student today, and take my over 100 course videos, my personal trade setups, get in our dynamic trading community where we're all doing this together and win with us. My live classes are Monday at 9, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern and I would love for you to be a part of them. I'll see you in the next video.